iOS 11.2 Beta 3 features an interesting new change. How's it going folks? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. Here is a look at iOS 11.2 Beta 3. Not a lot's changed here, but you do get a new indicator for Control Center on the lock screen. That's interesting because it sort of looks like a smaller home indicator. However, it's only on the lock screen and it's for your Control Center. So it helps you to realize that yes, you can invoke Control Center by swiping down from that location. Other changes include updated Bluetooth and Wi-Fi buttons. Now when you press them, they turn white instead of gray, which is better to indicate how they actually work. And the first time you press the toggles, you get an explainer pop-up. And these pop-ups leave no room for misunderstanding. It's very verbose as to what the toggles do. Each toggle will disconnect the current connection until the next day. However, certain services like AirDrop and Personal Hotspot for Wi-Fi and Handoff and Apple Pencil for Bluetooth will still be available. So the biggest visual change is that new control center indicator on the lock screen, and there is no notifications indicator on the opposite side because you simply swipe up on the lock screen to access those. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of that new indicator. What about you? Let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.